Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 121. And this week, I am really excited for this episode because we've got comments from two different episodes of No Prep News, and we have a very big questionable topic to discuss for the main topic. All of that in this week's episode of No Prep News. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. And we'll kick off this episode by reading two comments from not last week's episode of No Prep News, but from the week before. For those that missed last week's episode, the season schedule for season five of Stradale's No Prep Kings was released. And we spent all of last week's episode discussing and dissecting that. There, we got the word first try this week. And this week, I would like to read some comments from that video. But also, like I said, we've got some comments from two weeks ago, which the topic in that video was is no prep kings rigged and thankfully most of you guys agreed with me in the fact that thinking that there's no way that it could be rigged the first comment here we have in regards to this is from bobby borba and you said sim i find it interesting that when people don't see the outcome they want in their minds it's rigged the fast cars are usually putting in the time to be the best ttve and that's kind of the same thing with the whole list for racing whether it be the 405 list america's list the aspect of the list is meant to have people fall to the place where they belong to be that's why when people complain about oh we're just seeing this same two races over and over again it's like well then that's the point of the list because if those guys are just going back and forth then that's where they're meant to be on the list that's the whole point of the list in the first place and when people see stuff like this and they see something where they're like oh i don't like how that is that it can't be like that it's like they instantly think that something's up behind the scenes there's no point to this oh it's rigged this and that and i i just really like that aspect you said because people always want the things they think is what's going to happen to be right people always want to just simply be right at the end of the day and seeing something like this i i that's a good comment i like that right there then robin bud said i've been to two no prep kings events one in orangeburg south carolina and darlington south carolina hey, we're going to touch back on the darlington race later on in this episode you continue with your comment and said, I've literally watched Dominator work on his own car by himself, just trying to keep it together to race. I've watched Lutz change his transmission just to pull it back out and let another team use it to keep racing. No way it's set up. And I agree with this aspect 100% because you look at just the, again, the passion behind these guys when they're out there racing, the motivation to continue to race and continue to compete. You can't make that up and then there's one thing that i saw a couple of people comment about i didn't pick out one specific comment in regards to this but the fact that there's been wrecks now if there had never been a wreck i mean first of all that would be a good thing but if that was the case then i could understand people say racing at this high level these guys are going so fast on a no prep surface in these cars and we've never seen a wreck it's got to be rigged the fact that we've seen these wrecks and i mean there's i don't want to like uh how should i say that i mean to be honest at the end of the day it is what it is people could these guys could die in these wrecks that have taken place i mean they anyone could die any pass thankfully most of the time we haven't even seen very many wrecks and the thing is, though, the fact that wrecks have happened, I think that would completely diminish the argument of it being rigged. Because if it was rigged and people were like it was set up, no way anyone would be, anyone would be pushing themselves to the point to where they'd be at a risk to wrecking and risking their lives in something such as No Prep Kings. Again, I've never thought that it was rigged in the first place. I kind of just wanted to make that video to address that topic because I've seen many people say that it is rigged and I've seen a lot of very good arguments supporting the side of it being rigged. But again, at the end of the day, I've always believed it is just a, it's a normal race. It's not set up or rigged behind the scenes in any way, shape or form. And now transitioning on over into some comments from last week's episode of No Prep News. And we've got the first one here from Chad Coleman. And you said, I believe that gap could also be used for weather canceling in the spring races would make perfect sense. Now, that gap you are referring to is the month of July, because as we saw with the No Prep King schedule we dove into last week for No Prep King Season 5, the entire month of July is completely off, completely blank. There's nothing going on for No Prep Kings. And we speculated them potentially filming a street show during that time. Although hearing some of the comments you guys said, honestly, the most logical answer 
is just that weather cancellation because i saw some other people saying at the earlier in the year during the spring at some of the tracks they're going to there's most likely going to be a lot of rain and if there's something such as that that gives the whole month of july to move that race to then that honestly makes complete sense but also too like i i could i wouldn't be surprised if we see any of the three main options we've been speculating right now the first one obviously being like i said the most logical one just weather cancellation for rescheduling the second one being if they just simply give these guys uh, a month off again, seeing that June they have a race every single week, that would kind of make sense. And also, too, if they film a street show, because, I mean, uh, sh I'll, I'll discuss this right now with you guys. With the whole street show, we have nothing left after this upcoming season of Street Outlaws America's List. And I was messaging a couple people about this uh, this past week and just like the scheduling aspect of No Prep Kings, and uh, not even No Prep Kings, all of Street Outlaws in general. I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm trying to trash them or talk bad on them. Obviously, I love Street Outlaws and everything they do, but their scheduling, I mean, it's lackluster to say the best. I mean, for example, season four of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings, they were at the Sweatbox of the South, Darlington Dragway, South Care, or is it North Carolina? Darlington Dragway, Hartsville, South Carolina. You guys called it the Sweatbox of the South. When were they there? Oh, they should probably go there in like October when it's cooling off. Oh, maybe should they should go there at the very beginning of the year before it gets really hot. Nope. July 30th and 31st. The hottest time of the year is when they go to the hottest track they could. I mean, it's named the Sweatbox of the South. They're like, okay, yeah, let's schedule the race there for when it's the hottest time of the year. Again, but season four with the pandemic and everything, they just did whatever they could to get that off. So I don't want to make that as a main point to complain about the scheduling. But look at America's List. America's List season two was supposed to be filmed last year. It's filmed at the beginning of this year instead. They were supposed to already be, I assume, finishing the build show right now. And I mean, the like, we don't know why America's List was pushed back. We don't know why the filming was rescheduled. But just the aspect that it was, in fact, rescheduled, that alone is like, that... Sh that something like that shouldn't happen with a show that big. But again, because it's a show that big, like you'd think, oh, well, like of, of course something's going to go wrong. Having all these big name guys there trying to pull this race off, of course something's going to happen. But like, I just feel like the scheduling thing, could, it's always been just, uh, it's been something that has been struggled with. No question about it. With all of Street Outlaws, whether it be putting off actual races, when stuff's going on, having stuff air on TV, we, it, there's no doubt that's always been uh, not one of their strong points with the whole Street Outlaws franchise. Although, to be fair, maybe that is why we have that gap once again. Maybe that gap is because they're like, okay, this sucked July, it's so hot, let's not even have a race because it's going to be so miserable for all the fans and drivers out there. So, hey... Maybe that could be a reason as well as to why that is going on. But just, I mean, I I don't think there's a race in Darlington Dragway this year. They are in North Carolina for at Rockingham Dragway in October. So hey, hey, maybe things are turning around. My bad, my bad, Street Outlaws. I was going, I was going on off on a rant right there, talking bad on you guys. But you know what? My bad, my bad. I take back what I said. Then we got another comment here from Rusty Hook, and you said I got my two. I got my race number two VA ticket. Looking forward to seeing all these new cars. We're going to discuss that some more. And actually, no, we'll dive into that right now. You talk about the aspect of new cars. And this is kind of the main point I want to bring up for this week's episode of No Prep News. And we have yet to see the official rules for Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings, season number five. We've got the schedule, but we haven't gotten the rules. Seeing that the schedule begins April 8th, April 8th and 9th is the first race of this next season. We're in the first week of February right now, so we've only got about two months left until No Prep Kings begins. They just finished filming Street Outlaws America's List, and a lot of the big No Prep Kings drivers were, in fact, there participating, racing in that show. Now they've got the next two months to prepare for No Prep Kings, unless there's going to be another street show they try to cram in, because apparently the 405 show was supposed to be filmed right now. Obviously, America's List is being filmed right now, as we mentioned earlier, with it getting rescheduled, so I don't know the whole ordeal with that. We do know there's that build show going on with guys such as Kai Kelly, Ryan Martin, and Jeff Lutz, all names in No Prep Kings partaking in that. So who knows what 
is really like going on right now for these guys for this two month gap. But nevertheless, we've seen guys build new cars for this next season. We've seen guys take apart their cars and get whole or plan to get whole new setups for this upcoming season. For example, Ryan Martin won the last two seasons of Stradale's No Prep Kings, two different cars. Then you'd think, oh, he's just going to keep the setup he's got right now. He's so fast. No way he's going to change anything. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Martin sold the whole drivetrain, the whole setup for the gray car at the end of this past season of Stradale's No Prep Kings. And we all assumed that, oh, he did that because he's going to build the car to fit the rules once the rules come out. We've still yet to see the rules out. I would assume, though, that... Like, I want to say the drivers would get the rules before, but, like, what if one of the drivers isn't, like, some super big star? Like, how would they know to get it? Like, that's one of the, uh, that's kind of, like, the, the, not blurry, the weird aspect of it that I don't really know too much about. But nevertheless, like, and some people might say, well, Ryan's got all this money. There's one thing that money doesn't give a damn about, and it's time. Time keeps moving no matter what. So, if they come out with the rules, like, middle of March, and they've only got a couple of weeks to put the cars together to get ready to race at the beginning of April, like, that would make sense to as to why we see a lot of these guys cramming at the last second race or racing to get to the race and put their cars together because of the fact that they don't even know what they're going to build because they don't even have the rules yet. Like, Ryan Martin could come out there with a whole new car, practically. I, I got to put in the title. Got to make sure I put quotation marks around new car because people will lose their shit. What do you mean Ryan Martin's got a new car? It's practically probably going to be a whole new car when he brings the thing back out. It's just going to still be the same body. But nevertheless, like, they've got to get the rules soon or else... They're going to be racing just to make it to the race. And then who knows how fast they'll be able to go in the actual race because they were already partaking in the race before that just to get there in the first place. So again, I think it'll be interesting to see a lot of the new setups and new cars we see once the rules are put out to see what guys build in order to fit specifically within the rules. Shout out Rusty Hook for this comment right here. We're going to continue on with it. And you said, you'd notice the Street Outlaws website only mentions two No Prep Kings racers for the 2022 season, Ryan Martin and Paige Coughlin. I guess respect can be bought because someone there ain't ever run once yet. After hearing the racers cry daddy's money to Justin, I can't wait to see if they have the cojones to say the same to Paige and her dad, TTVE. Now with this right here, to say I'm excited to see the reaction from the fans is an understatement because you guys know uh, Justin Swanstrom. He's my absolute favorite driver in No Prep Kings as we sit right now. I want to see him win the entire thing more than anyone. And people hate him. So many people talk bad on him, this and that. But to be fair, like, obviously the haters are always the loudest. Obviously, on this past season of No Prep Kings, you could tell that they were editing it to portray him as, like, the villain, you could say. And people were disliking him and stuff, saying, Daddy's money, this and that. And I mean... I haven't addressed this topic you were discussing right here, Rusty Hook, because I wanted to wait to see what the fans' reaction is once this is, all begins. But I'm to say I'm excited is an understatement to see the reaction people have to this. And again, not even a no prep Kings race. We've never even seen them in a, a street outlaws race at all. And it's called street outlaws, no prep Kings. So, hey, I'm excited to see how all that plays out. And I'm really looking forward to this upcoming season of street outlaws, no prep Kings. So that is all. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so very much for watching to the very end of this week's episode of No Prep News. Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend. Looking forward to a great week this week. It's crazy to think. I mean, like, I feel like time is just flying by right now. We're already going into the second week of February. It's just crazy. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like I said, TTVE. Make sure you click that little bell to turn notifications on so you do not miss a single video that I upload. All my videos I upload go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow night, Monday night at 6.50 p.m. Central Standard Time, where we will go live here on my channel and watch the new episode of Street Outlaws. The Or not even, I, it's just called Street Outlaws. The 405 Street Outlaws. You guys know what it is. Make sure you tune in tomorrow night to the live stream to see that. Make sure you guys leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. But everything we discussed this week, we discussed a whole slew of topics 
topics. So if you've got any points you would like to elaborate on or any questions you would like to ask, leave all that in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys check out MidwestStreetCars.com and use coupon code SAMBISXYZ for 20% off your order. First link down in the description will take you directly to their store. I also set up a P.O. box, so if you guys would like to send me stuff, address is down below in the description. But like I said, that is all. Thank you so very much for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SAMBISXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is SAMABCXYZ signing out.